people to this day that saw that still won't go in the water because of that film. Today we're going to be looking at the good, the bad, and the ugly uh, of sharks on film. Well, that was the, uh, the saddest part of what was probably the best uh, shark piece ever done. We've never seen sharks go up on a boat like that to chase a human. Of course, there's the, the hint that there's some sort of revenge in mind and sharks don't hold revenge. The uh, recreational user group that's most affected by shark attack are surfers. We think that's because they spend the most time in the water and because their activities are particularly provocative. <laughs> A very compelling scene, very well done, set the tone for the entire movie, very realistic. When a shark uh, attacks, their head will go uh, laterally, and that's performing the cutting motion with their teeth. In this sequence, there's uh, some good and some bad. The good is the, the original bite appears realistic, uh, as one would expect. The things that I find unrealistic, of course, is that he seems to be pretty sound of mind and, and spirit when he pops up to the surface. My leg's gone. You gotta, oh, oh, you gotta go. A normal person under those circumstances would have been in immediate shock and wouldn't have been saying anything at all. And we're gonna find a way to get out of here. First, we're gonna seal off this <laughs> Obviously, this is, uh, moving into the farcical side of uh, sharks in cinema. As luck would have it, I was offered a position as an advisor on this film and, uh, and turned it down. Dory, are you okay? Oh, Ooh, that's good. Intervention! Sharks are attracted to uh, blood and other bodily fluids in, in the water because of course it usually means there's a, a free meal at the other end. But uh, uh, the, the whole movie, of course, is a fantasy and, and it's a wonderful one. Dad! Wait, wait, wait. It's going to cut him the way out. One eternity later. Sharknados have uh, have taken it to the ultimate end of the spectrum. The shark digestive system goes into a large stomach, and then the intestine is very different from ours. The opening of the intestine, they're called spiral valves that sort of go around and around and around. And so a human being, even in a, in a, a big shark like that, wouldn't get past the sphincter, the muscle that holds the rear end of the stomach, but uh, it, who cares? Ah, uh, right off the banana boat. I don't think uh, white sharks have seen very many banana boats in their time, unless that one was a, a vegan. Just a continuum of the uh, uh, bigger, badder shark. The, the largest of the predatory sharks is the white shark, uh, commonly called the great white shark uh, by media. Uh, which reaches about 20 feet in length. Most sharks involved in shark attacks are 10 feet or, or less in, in size. So as long as people understand the distinction between fiction and fact, uh, everything's fine. In the real world, of course, there are only about six deaths per year worldwide as a result of shark attack. 
I kind of like to see the shark win more encounters, and so in these films I'm uh, more likely to cheer when the hero uh, gets bitten in half or whatever, because if you're going to get a bad rap, you might as well get it for do something good. And so uh, if you're going to kill somebody, kill the hero. Mm -hmm.